Here's a funny thing. I noticed this morning a string of 17 consecutive comments on a single video. This is suspicious for a number of reasons, but mostly because the previous comment is four years old. This isn't a video that should ever get views like this again. Did the video suddenly jump in popularity? Or is something shady going on? Let's find out. I've been seeing a substantial increase in spam lately, so I thought this would be a good time to address it in a video. Not only to show from a creator's perspective that this is a major problem, but also to inform viewers so they are not taken advantage of. Because that's ultimately who is being targeted here. You. If you watch any of my channels, it's really important that you see this so that you know how to protect yourself online. I think it goes without saying that I will never ask you in the comments of my videos or anyone else's for your phone number, email address, credit card number, or anything that's considered personal information. I won't offer you any sort of cryptocurrency or investment related links in the comments. Even if the comments appear as if they are coming from my account, if they feel suspicious, they probably are. I know of several of my fellow creators who are being impersonated by bot accounts right now. These fake accounts have copied their channel name and logo and look very convincing. You can verify that a comment is coming from me and not an imposter if you click on the account of the person posting and it goes to my YouTube channel. Look at the subscriber count, and if it does not match what you see when you go to youtube.com slash Aaron Rutten, then you'll know that something is not right. Aside from spam in the comments, if you're purchasing one of my products, please be certain that it is from AaronRutten.com or AaronRutten.gumroad.com. If you see my work being sold elsewhere, please let me know. I use a link shortener, AaronRutten.link, so you might see that occasionally. Or you might see shortened affiliate links in the description of my videos. No one but me can post links in my video descriptions, so you need not worry about those. If you are a member of my Patreon, YouTube memberships, or Gumroad subscriptions, then that's a surefire way to know you're dealing with the real me, because only I can post there. But even so, there could come a day when one of my accounts gets hacked, so if I ever comment with something that just looks really out of place, please let me know through a different channel, and do not click on anything or share any personal information. This is precisely why the spam comments are so detrimental. It's not just a nuisance. Think about how many sales I'm losing because people are wary of clicking on links on YouTube. So was the rise in activity on my video legitimate or were bots responsible for this? Let's dive into some of the details in my YouTube analytics so you can better detect this if it happens to you. I can see that from between 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. I received about 60 views, though by the time I recorded this footage, that number had dropped. I assume that's because those accounts were active elsewhere and were reported to YouTube. Still, this does not match up with the amount of normal hourly views I've been getting on this video. And looking at my real-time traffic, I can see that no other videos were affected during this time period. This video is a niche topic about old software that likely wouldn't be highly searched for. And there is no indication that anything new has been released for the project I referenced in the video. Nevertheless, all traffic came from suggested videos. So it's clear that this was not an organic bump in views, or it would be from a variety of sources. I find it odd that this video was even suggested, because it's not very popular. If I look at the all-time stats, you can see that suggested videos only makes up 2.6% of the views. So clearly the bots are taking advantage of suggested videos in some way to navigate YouTube, but not in the way I would expect, since this is clearly not a video that has had any views or comment activity for a while, and is not likely to change. If we examine the posts, all of the comments are very vague and simple, so they could fit into the context of just about any video. But what stands out the most and really draws attention to the inauthenticity of the accounts are the obvious errors. Many of the posts contain the same string of text, soft, and some posts are just nonsensical. Is this meant to mimic humans? I don't think we're that bad. I should also note that this isn't the first time this type of activity has happened on my channel, I just hadn't thought about what it all means until today. So why is this happening? I think as spam filters become more sophisticated, as do the spammers. Perhaps one objective of the bots is to first test to see if the creator has applied a spam filter, and if not, determine whether they even moderate their comments. If enough of these innocuous test comments have been successfully planted, the bot can be more confident that it can begin posting links and solicitations. 
Perhaps the attack comes from a different account that is more disposable than the scout account. You have to admit, that's a more efficient use of resources, rather than blanket posting links and then having to generate new accounts to replace the ones that get immediately banned. If I go to a few of these accounts, they look like real people. They have a picture and a name, they have subscribers, videos, and playlists. They have been on YouTube for a number of years. These are all things I used to look for to prove someone is real, but now I can't trust anyone is real on YouTube. That's what these bot accounts are doing, building trust from humans in a community, establishing a reputation as a real person when they are not. I imagine that once bots have scouted for and chosen a vulnerable channel, it's more likely that an attack from a bot impersonating a creator or trusted member of the community will be successful. So you might wonder, if the goal is for bots to go undetected, then why draw so much attention to comments by making them so sloppy? I think the obvious errors in these posts are only representing one side of the spectrum of the spam being submitted. I'm willing to bet that a large percentage of currently active comments on my channel and across YouTube have been recognized as spam, yet have originated from bots. Those are on the other end of the spectrum. I hypothesize that these new generations of bots are being trained, perhaps through an AI algorithm, to become more discreet by trying different combinations of typos and account names to see which are deemed as the most legitimate looking and therefore are less detectable by both spam filters and human users who may report them. And what disgusts me the most is that the act of humans reporting the obvious spam accounts is probably one of the most effective ways bots are using spam reporting against us. Each time we report one of these posts, that might help the bots learn what is fooling humans and what is not. There's also another even more sinister side to the bots. They have been manipulating our conversations with other humans. It's a fact that a lot of the divisiveness in the world has been perpetrated by bots. I also believe that bot accounts are being used for marketing purposes to fabricate positive sentiment and attack rival brands. You see it most in product reviews. As with all of the videos on my channel, I have enabled the new increased strictness filter for comments. And while it does seem to work on obvious spam comments, it's clear many have been coming through unnoticed. To me, it feels like all this feature has really done is made spammers evolve to try other tactics. As with any evolutionary arms race, both sides must constantly adapt. It seems YouTube and we as creators and viewers are on the losing end right now. But there is hope. A YouTube creator known as Theo Joe has created a spam filter app that can use YouTube's API to detect spam posts using a more sophisticated filter than what YouTube offers. While I have not used it myself, I have heard good things about it. So it does look like there are some options for getting the upper hand on spam bots, they just haven't made their way to YouTube yet. This begs the question, if comments are so problematic, why keep them enabled? First, you might feel like you have to. You don't. This is your project. Does Netflix have comments on their videos? No. But surely YouTube viewers expect to be able to comment, and if you don't let them, they won't watch your content. Also not true. In my case, I have data that shows that videos can get over a million views without comments enabled. I have turned comments on and off at various points in my YouTube career, and it has never measurably harmed my channel. But perhaps you enjoy the community aspect of having a channel. As long as spam is at a manageable level for you, by all means, keep comments enabled. Here's another consideration. YouTube recently introduced Super Thanks, which allows viewers to leave a comment along with a tip. You can't take advantage of that on your channel if you disable comments. If you monetize your channel by sending links in public comments, that's probably not a good idea. I would recommend directing people to a link they can click on on your official website or in the description of a video. And last, comments can be useful to know how your video is doing, but you can also get quick feedback about that from the like count or more detailed feedback from your video analytics. How about some reasons not to keep comments? Besides spam, there is the verbal abuse many creators endure. Many creators also find it difficult to keep up with questions, and they worry people will feel ignored if they go unanswered. But really, the most important consideration is that you don't want to risk the safety of your community by not keeping a close eye on comments, especially if you're being impersonated or there are links on your videos that are directing your audience towards scams. Honestly, there is a lot of stress, effort, and anxiety that accompanies comments, so it really does feel better just to leave them disabled and focus on making content. I'll also mention some alternatives to public comments that may be a solution for you. 
First, you can use memberships to communicate with your viewers. It's a lot less likely that a bot is going to spend money to gain access to your community, because that would require a valid payment method, which is harder to acquire than a YouTube account. Second, you can use live streaming to give your viewers regular sessions where they can ask questions or leave feedback on your content. YouTube live streaming has a feature where you can allow comments only for subscribers or members. Bots could still subscribe, but that would be a lot less spam than leaving comments enabled on your channel. I have tried Discord and even forums on my website, but those were plagued with spam too. After this experience, I have concluded that any form of public comments will eventually become overrun with spam. Ultimately, disabling comments is the only effective long-term solution for the spam problem. You win, they lose. There's no getting around that. Any spam filter will eventually be defeated by more sophisticated bots. So I opt to stop using comments, with perhaps a few exceptions here and there. I don't want to train bots to be more effective by moderating my channel nor do I want my videos to be a platform for bot activity. If people can watch Netflix without leaving a comment on every video and not lose their minds, it can be done on YouTube as well. That's all for today. Leave some feedback about this video using the like or subscribe button, or become a member of this channel. Thanks for watching and stay safe online.